Hey everyone, this is a real quick video. Um, the full version will be uploaded uh, as new content on my YouTube channel, so don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you're subscribed if you want to see the full version of this, but this is just a mini clip of what I did. I was looking for some blinged out brushes. I wanted some really unique brushes, and I uh, couldn't really find what I wanted. So the DIY side of me came out and decided to just go ahead and just do what I had been thinking about and hoping that it came out right. So if you want to know how I took my real techniques, uh, this was, I think was part of their the holiday brush collection, the one that goes from like a, a an orange or a peach into a pink into a purple. I really wasn't feeling this gray handle and I wanted to just kind of jazz these up. Uh, so if you want to see how I went from this to this, Stay tuned. So basically what you're going to need is you're going to need some E6000, a very strong adhesive. You're going to need to, the, 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 the most important part of this is you're going to need a blendable lacquer, which I mean uh, lacquers that are not opaque and that you can mix and that you can ombre the colors. As you can see, the colors of the brush itself, the metal, is ombre. It ombres in from a, from like an orangey peach into a pink into a lavender purple. Basically, that's the same thing I did here to go from that orange into that pink into that purple. And for that, you're going to need a blendable lacquer. So, uh, what I use, I already had these on hands, I don't even know if they still make these, are the OPI blendable lacquer color paints. And that's what you're going to need. They're almost like a stained glass kind of thing. They provide pigment, but they're translucent, meaning they're see through. You're going to need a couple of bottles of glitters. Glitters are your choice. Those are just the ones I happen to have on hand. And just so basically, you're going to uh, take the brush, make sure the handle is clean. You're going to quickly lay down your base coat of glitter. It does not have to be even, but you just want to make sure that the majority of the brush is covered. Okay? And you wait for that to dry. Then you go back with your color paints and you basically go over top and you see how you're able to see the glitter through the lacquer and you're able to blend the colors. That's why it's important that you just cannot use regular nail polish for this. It has to be a blendable lacquer. I believe Essie also makes a blendable lacquer. And then the final step is adding the top coat of glitter and you probably think well why do you need a base coat and a top coat because you want to give it dimension um, you don't want to have to pile and pile and pile on glitter to get the effect uh, so basically that's why you need the two coats the one at the, the beginning and the one at the end because they're they're very thin coats of lacquer that are put on this and then of course I added the stones and that's the other key component is you need to have a nice variety um, and you can see here I have I have a lot uh, because I do other strassing projects. So I have a nice array of Swarovski crystals and cut glass stones in a variety of colors, um, which is where the E6000 comes in. And then lastly, you want to have your Mod Podge after you finish uh, to be a protective sealant so that this will not come off. So you want to make sure it's sealed. But I have a wide array of crystals. You can probably pick up some at the craft store, but they, and I know they do carry Swarovski crystals, but they're the more expensive ones. But you can probably just get some cut glass or the resin stones, but they probably will not be as sparkly as these because these are the crystals, cut glass crystals. I use these a lot. Um, if you check out my YouTube, which is where I'm going to upload the full video for this. I um, also, this is a cup that's in progress. I also bling out cups. So you can see that. So I'm going to be finishing that. And that's going to be my, when the weather gets warm and my summer tumbler. And then um, 
I also, what I'm really known for is shoes. This is a shoe that I'm working on. These are Swarovski AB crystals. And I've done the heel. I love making things that are one of a kind. Excuse me, I've tried to hold the shoe and hold the camera. I do my own nails. I bling out my own nails. But you can see it's a peacock, peacock color crystal. That's the heel. And then I'm doing a combination. Now you see that? That's that's worth the price of admission right there. I'm doing a combination of the crystals and feathers. So these are still a work in progress. They're not finished yet. I hope to be finished with them soon. But again, the D, uh, to, not DIYs, but uh, you can see more of the shoes that I've done on my YouTube channel, as well as bags and, like I said, cups and other items. And so that's basically how I, and I've, my, the rest of the set, there's more brushes than this, but the rest of the set is drying. But again, that's how we go from plain handles. Laying down, you want to get good glitters, uh, polishes. The essential um, lacquers. And then this is the final. So I'm, I'm looking for, and I mean, they, they are, they shine. And once I put the Mod Podge on this, then I won't have to worry about them being damaged or affected. So that's basically it, guys. This is me at my craft table where I come up with these ideas. So um, hit that like button, follow my channel, follow my Facebook page. Uh, this is my color story where I do all kinds of stuff. I do the nail art. I do, I do a lot of different things as well as the makeup, which I'm going to be doing a lot more of those uh, videos uh, for new content on my YouTube channel, which is your favorite spy 007. So I hope you guys will check me out. Thanks. Bye.